Hello everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot coming to you for your monthly reading for the sign of Libra in the month of January. It's a new year for everybody and uh, so far the readings have been pretty decent for all the different signs and uh, just a, uh, a reminder that this is a general reading. It is not specifically meant for every Libra out there. Uh, just to kind of keep that in the back of your mind, if you would like a personal reading, I um, do do personal readings. They are $25 and I am hooked up through PayPal. I am an empath. So the most of the time I don't even need to read cards. I just um, can go into your subcon into a person's subconscious or into just um, uh, their read their energy and can tell you exactly, you know, what, what is going on in your world or with the person that you're with or, or uh, the situation. I do have a little makeshift um, card holder here. It is with an old cassette tape holder. So if any of you, like I said in my, I said in my last video, if you listen to the Virgo, that um, if you, if you can remember back to the tape, the days of the tapes, you know, cassette tapes, that's what I'm, I'm using is the, um, the holder. So anyway, so okay, so I got a new deck and it's called the Gilded Revere Lenormand. It's a beautiful deck with beautiful colors um, and some really nice pictures. Um, it is uh, not like the tarot deck. So some of them I do um, understand. I can compare some pictures to the um, normal tarot deck. So uh, this one here, I can't figure out what it is. It's It's got the two. It's a clover. So I don't know if it's the two of pentacles or two of, it's not the two of cups, but I feel like this is a card of growth. You see green, you see flowers, it's sprouting, it's growing. Um, green to me is, comes from the heart. So when someone says, and I've said this before in some of my Oracle messages, when someone says, oh, she's green with envy or he's green with envy, envy comes from the heart. The heart is the green chakra, this here is green. So to me, it talks about a relationship growing, a relationship um, expanding, blossoming. So I'm going to go to the book here. It's such a beautiful deck. I, I, I paid $40 for this, people. $40. I just loved it so much. I went on to Amazon right away and I bought it. <laughs> so at <laughs> $40 later, that's all right. It's worth it. It's all you, all of you all are worth it. All right, so this card depicts an explosive revere of clover. Three and four leaf clovers bearing white flowers are set against the backdrop of an idyllic day. All is vibrant, green, fertile, and promising growth and luck. The white of the flowers symbolizes the purity of luck. Where this card is placed, all is well. When taken in context of flower language, the white of the flower is known to be a symbol to a remembrance. The card can mean think of me from someone afar. The three-leaf clover is commonly known by the Irish, Irish as a shamrock and is associated with luck. Since the four-leaf clover is less prevalent, the act of finding one naturally in the wild is considered very lucky. The clover is also known to have associations with love, passion, and ab uh, abandonment. Medieval poetry was full of passionate trysts between young lovers in fields of clover. So here we also have the state of being lucky in love. All right, so whoever this, if whoever this kind of pertains to, any of you Libras out there, you're lucky in love, the relationship you're in, I think is growing and blossoming, okay? All right, so the second card is a very nice card again. It is number 22. It's got two doorways. It's got two different um, stairways, both of them going to two doors that are very light and very bright. One's got sunshine uh, coming through it and the other one's got daylight coming through it. So if you have a choice to make or a path to take, it doesn't matter which way you take, either the left or the right, they're both good choices, okay? So it's a very nice card. The, the red carpet there, red always talks about passion, okay? And um, yeah, neither door is a bad door to take. It's called the choice card. There comes a time when one needs to make the choice of going one way or the other. Neither way is right or wrong, but only one way can be taken. Here in the Riviere, we have steps that take us upwards and onwards towards this point of deliberation. Stairs and steps are symbolic of ascending to a higher place, 
a much better place where once you where once you are through the doors at the top that lead to the stars then the possibilities are infinite okay so it says here decisions and choices are what i offer alternate directions are what i augur i speak in multiple and double and when i'm in a relationship i might be trouble so um to me it like you've got the clovers here okay this one here Oh, oopsies. Okay, we're going to fix this up here. So there's the clover, okay? Abundance, it's talking about luck, lucky in love. Whatever choice you have that you're going to be making, it's not a bad choice at all. You'll be fine with whatever it is you decide to do, okay? All right, you can see here, this one's got light. This one's got sun, uh, uh, just daylight, but sun, you know? Either choice is good. There's nothing wrong with those choices, Okay. And then the third one is the polar bear. To me, this talks about this. I look at this right away. It's got it's got water, which to me um, talks about emotions. The polar bear is strong, animal. Um, I would say it's dominant. Okay. Uh, let's see what it says here. Okay. Um, I am power and strength, health and protection. Your finances is my field. Your food is my concern. My bad side comes out when you see negative cards around. The polar bear is a fitting symbol of the indomitable dignity signified by this card, whether it be read as an authority figure, a protective mother, or purely as strength. The polar bear is the most powerful of all the species. Furthermore, its color is symbolic of the pure spirit it embodies. The bear can relate to a person who is in a position of power in the business world. The bear can also be matriar matriarchal matriarchal in china the polar bear is known to represent russia the bear may also be a symbol of officialdom and brute force this card could be telling us to push something through sheer force okay so there's a lot of white here so we've got green and white green and white okay so whatever is going on here either you're lucky in love or the love that you're in is flourishing and it's it's just going to get better Okay, this tells you that you may have some choices to make. It doesn't matter what choice you make, it's going to be good. Okay, uh, this third card here, I'm looking back at it, and it, there's something here that kind of caught my eye when it said, um, let's see here, where are we? The color is symbolic of the pure spirit it embodies. Light, goodness, okay, that kind of a thing. Um, strength. I, okay, that's the word that I was looking for. I mean, you've got this card here that talks about luck. This talks about whatever decision you make is not going to be a bad decision. And I would say this, this gives you strength. Either strength in the relationship. I think it talks about you know, whatever you decide to do, there's good strength there. Okay, so if you're in a relationship, it's a strong relationship. Okay, aren't these cards beautiful? I just love them. They're really, really nice. So not a bad reading at all for you Libras out there for the month of January. Okay, all right, luck, good choices, and strength. Okay, that's what I got out of this reading. Okay, if you would like to have a personal reading, please contact me at clearpathguidance at um, gmail.com, okay? Uh, I am more than happy to help you. All right, everybody have a wonderful January.